Shalom, shalom. This is your brother Shamak out of the Great Millstone Atlanta camp. Before I get started, I want to give all the glory, infinite praises unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Rachak Wadash, Yahweh being Heavenly Father's true name and His only begotten Son's true name being Yahweh Shai, both in the Hebrew tongue, whom the world incorrectly calls God and Jesus Christ. Also, want to give dumb. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who teach and rule well, and who are the true leaders of the Hebrew Israelites within these last days. I also want to give a shalom to our sincere brothers that's pushing teaching the truth worldwide, and shalom to all you sincere believers and you sincere listeners. All right, here with a topic and concerning uh, who the witnesses of the Lord are. You know, who are the witnesses of the Lord, basically. Okay, and first I want to start off with the. Uh, the origin of the word witness um, from the online etymology dictionary. All right. Get, to get the truth of the word witness. All right. Because, I, you know, I find it to be a heavy definition. All right. So it says uh, witness. All right. A noun in the old English means all right. Meaning an attesting of fact, event, etc. from personal knowledge. Also, one who so testifies originally the knowledge. All right. And continuing on to go down, all right, from the verb witness, it says bear testimony. It says, uh, meaning it says one signature to a document to establish its identity. It says meaning to see or know by personal presence, observe. Okay. <laughs> all right. That's a, hey, that's, that's heavy. It says meaning see or know by personal presence, observe. Okay, so from there, after reading, after reading uh, the truth or the meaning or the definitions of the word witness from his noun and in, in the in the verb, okay, I wanted to go to and start with Acts chapter one, starting at verse um, ooh, <laughs> this is uh, Acts chapter one verse five, okay, and of course this is with the uh, concerning the Yahweh Shai with his disciples, those that that follow that follow after Yahweh Shai, all right, the true Christians, as you would say. OK, so this is Acts chapter one, verse five. It reads for John truly baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Not many days hence. OK, and this applies to the time we're living in now. All right. To who the truth to who the witnesses are, you know. You no, know, for it says for John truly baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Not many days hence. So through the Holy Spirit. That is being granted being, and that's being uh, given by the Lord. All right. Unto the believers and, and unto the worshipers and unto the witnesses today. All right. Verse six, it reads, when they therefore were come together, they asked of him saying, Lord, would thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? All right. Because the, the disciples, they this is what uh, this was after the resurrection. All right. With, with Yahweh Shai. Uh, you know, uh, rose from the dead. Okay. On the third day. Okay. So they thought that was the time where, Hey, you know, this, this is the time in prophecy where the Israelites would gain dominion over the entire earth. But that wasn't the time, you know, but they were hastening the day. They were still in the, in that faithful and in, in that righteous spirit. Okay. Verse seven, it, the same, the, the spirit that we are, the, the spirit we're in, you know, thousands of years later. Okay. Verse, verse seven, it reads, and he said unto them, it is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the father had put in his own power, because we know what the scriptures speak about. No man, nor no man, nor the hour or the time when the Lord is going to return. It says only the father know. So only Yahweh, the heavenly father, know if when, when he's only going to send his only begotten son back to the earth to, to judge the earth. OK, in the in the wicked, in the wicked, in the wickedness that is therein. OK, and to also deliver the righteous believers, the, the righteous worshipers, the righteous witnesses, man. OK, verse eight, it reads, but ye shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit is come unto you and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth, that uttermost going to those distant areas. That also including America, man. We're on the western, we're in the western hemisphere, believing in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, okay? As witnesses, man. All right, as believers, okay? As prophets, as worshipers, all right? Those that, of course, that are granted with that Holy Spirit, 
Okay? With that through the, with that rachak with us, giving that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the holy scriptures, of the holy Bible. Okay? So continuing on, or or should I even continue? But you know, I continue this Acts chapter one, but I will read verse eight one more time. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and all Judea. And in Samaria and and unto the uttermost part of the earth into those because we understand that the Israelites are scattered. All right. That's good. It covers all areas. OK. Believers all across the earth, man. All right. This word is going out. Verse nine. It says and we it says and when he has spoken these things while they beheld while they were looking back to that verb back back to that meaning of witness, because what it says to it said to see or observe. All right, this going back to there are the witnesses, man. It says when and we the same way in the time we're living in right now, as we're witnessing and observing and watching the prophecies come to pass. All right, just just the major, uh, just to name a few war the 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 gradualism or the steps of World War Three escalating on a week to week basis on a month to month. All right, the, those steps are being taken. Okay, concerning those thermonuclear missiles, the agenda of the of the karagma. Okay, of that of that tiny technology to go into and to go into the human bodies. Okay, that is mentioned in Revelation chapter thirteen verse sixteen. All right, that C hip. Okay, we're witnessing these. Pro we are observing these prophecies come to pass because we're witnesses of Yahweh Bashmi All right, and we and that's a gift. That that's a gift, man. That's the, he he's granted us that power. He's granted us that Holy Spirit. He's anointed us with that. All right, that's the blessing. Okay, for so continuing on. Verse nine, and when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up in a cloud, received him out of their sight. The Lord, basically, Yahweh Shai was being up into a chariot, and that's the same way the Lord is going to return on a humongous chariot. Okay, a great, uh, you know, like it's carved like a great mountain, man. He's going to return with a numerous amounts of angels as well. The Lord of hosts is going to. This is going to be a. This is going to be. Our mind, this is something our mind can't even fathom, but we know it's written in the Bible. Okay? It's gonna be it's like the scriptures speak about wisdom Solomon chapter five. It's it's gonna it's gonna go beyond all that they have that they, they that they looked for, that they did their mind that these people minds can even imagine. All right, it's gonna shock the world. Okay, but verse 10, it says, And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up, behold, two men stood by him in the white apparel. Those of course are going into the angels of the Lord. All right, these are angels in that white apparel, that white symbolizing that purity. All right, pure. Okay, verse eleven. It says, "Which also said ye, uh, so like it, which also said ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Yahweh Shai, which is taken up from from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. So the the same way we that the that the witnesses that the disciples the believers in Yahweh that the believers of uh that were that was following after Yahweh Shai at the time." Saw him going to and going to the uh, sky, all right, into that chariot, you know, you know, just you know, starstruck. Okay, that, that's the same way we're going to see him, see how we shall return because we're a hey, we're we're those same uh, believers back in uh, back in our lives, man. All right, because the, the, we understand that the scriptures speak about the the uh, the spirit of the prophets are subject to the prophets. Okay, so touching more onto that point. I want to go from there from to Matthew chapter uh twenty eight. So this is Matthew chapter twenty eight, and I want to start at yeah verse nineteen. I already highlighted. So this is Matthew chapter twenty eight verse nineteen. It reads, "Go ye therefore and teach all nations." And this is of course this is being granted with the Holy Spirit. It says, "Baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son." So this is the reason why we continue to to say. We must we must reiterate a Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, the Heavenly Father in the name Bahashim in the name of his only begotten son. Because the Yahweh Shai is the intercession between the Israelites and the Heavenly Father. Okay? So it says baptizing them, yeah, baptizing us by what? Through the look, it says it says while well, well, I'm up here trying to jump the gun. It says baptizing them in the name of the of the Father, Yahweh, and of the Son, Yahweh Shai. And of the Holy Spirit through the Rachak Wadash. All right. This is all this is all via the Holy Spirit. Okay. 
that as we're able to be witnesses and able to see and observe and to know, all right, our Lord, man. Okay, verse 20, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world, Amon. Okay, that and that's that's further proving that the witnesses of the Lord were are granted the Holy Spirit and believing in and believing in um Yahweh Bashmiao Shai and also what teaching, prophesying, okay, in the name of Yahweh Bashmiao Shai, okay, and truly it's going to be the, the truly to be uh the elect of the twelve tribes of Israel, okay. That are going to remain in that Holy Spirit. They're going to endure until the end. Okay. So just to add on to it even more. This is Luke. Let me grab Luke chapter tw uh, yeah, 24. Let me highlight. Luke chapter 24. Starting at 44. Yeah. Luke chapter 24 verse 44. Okay. And it reads. <coughs> yeah. It says. All right. And it reads. He said unto them. Of course, Yahweh shot speaking unto his disciples, man. It says, and he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you, why I was yet with you, that all these things must be fulfilled, which were written in the law of Moses, and in the prophets, and in the Psalms concerning me. All right, the fulfillment of Yahweh Shai. All right, verse 45. Then opened he their understanding, that they might understand the scriptures. And now, of course, came through the through the Holy Spirit. All right, as it's, as it's shown in the, in the Bible, the Holy Ghost. All right, but it's truly the Holy Spirit did that Rechach Kodash, verse 46. And he said unto them, Thus it is written, and thus it behooved Yahweh Shai to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day because it was prophecy for that, for that to take place. All right, the Lord had to, that was the will of the Heavenly Father. So Yahweh Shai had to go through with it, even though it was, it was painful, gruesome, Man, unimaginable for for us, man, in in this in this in this this weak flesh that we're in, you know. Verse forty seven, it says, "In that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in His name among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem." All right, beginning with the twelve tribes of Israel, which make up you Negroes, Latinos, and you Native Americans who are scattered worldwide. This truth is for you. All right, you are you are to. Repent and serve Yahweh by Shem Shai in truth and sincerity before it is too late. Whoever it is meant for, whoever is able in their in their right spirit to receive the truth of the Bible. All right. To receive the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these scriptures. OK, but to be what? Verse 48. And ye are witnesses of these things, man. All right. That's 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 the blessing. All right. That's the blessing right there. OK, so. um. I also want to grab um, Revelation chapter 19. Mm. Revelation chapter 19. You know what? Let me see. Verse. Revelation chapter 19. Verse. I'll start straight to the point. Verse 10. You know what? Nah, verse, starting at verse 9. Verse 9. Okay, and it reads. And he said unto me, Right. Blessed are they which are called, all right? And we know what the scriptures speak about or, or mention. Many are called, but what? Few are chosen, all right? So those, you know, uh, claiming to be, in, you, know, you know, those that are in, in the fight, you know, claiming to be what? Hebrew Israelites, according to the scriptures, you know, in the fight are being what? Called, but what? Few are chosen. Few are elected, okay? As is mentioned in the, uh, in the Greek, you go into that word chosen, it goes into eclectos. OK, so if you are going to be chosen being uh to be saved in the in the, concerning the remnant of the 12 tribes of Israel. All right. Especially that that election of a 12,000 from each of the 12 tribes. Then you still also have a great multitude. All right. So it's still going to be a lot of believers, but it's going to be less than the amount of the amount saved is going to be less than the amount killed concerning the 12 tribes of Israel. All right. Concerning you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans to, to know to bestly put it. All right. So Revelation chapter 19, verse 9, one more time, it says, And he said unto me, Right, blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. All right, the Lamb who uh, symbolizing Yahweh Shai. It says, And he said unto me, These are the true sayings of the Most High. Verse 10, And I fell at his feet to worship him. This is John on the island of Patmos. All right, he, he said unto me, 
See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship the Most High for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. Okay? And we went into, the, just to grab, go back to that word witness, it mentioned, it said, bear testimony. All right? Bear testimony. Okay? And that word testimony, just to grab that word as well from the, from the 1400s, it says proof or demonstration of some fact, evidence, piece of evidence. Okay? And the, these prophecies, the Bible prophecies are evident. All right? They're true. That's that's our evidence of our faith, man. The prophecies coming to pass. That's the that's the that's the show that the Lord is real. That's that the Lord is true. All right, and the Lord for spoken about it before the before he, before he brought these events to come to pass, which is showing His power. All right, it says legal testimony, sworn statement of a witness. All right, and who and who is the who are the witnesses of the, of the Lord's evidence? The prophecies, the believers, the worshipers. Have you want to put it, man? All right, the elect of the 12 tribes of Israel. All right, the Israelites. Okay, it says, it says evident, evidence, proof, witness, attesting. Okay, one who attests. It says, despite the common modern assertion, the sense of the words unlike it to have anything to do with. Okay, yeah. All right, that point is made. But um, yeah, the, the, there it is. It says proof or, or demonstration of some fact. All right, and, this, and these scriptures are fact, man. And what proof and what backs up these scriptures? Prophecy. Prophecy. Okay. So Revelation chapter 19, verse 10, one more time. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren. So the angel was, of course, given the given the understanding of the of the of, of John's vision. All right. It says, I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship the most high. For the testimony of Yahweh Shai is a spirit of prophecy. And who are prophesying? The teachers, the believers uh, of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? The witnesses. Okay? So, um, yeah, it says, And of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai, worship the Most High, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. So, yeah, those witnesses bear the testimony, and that testimony is that demonstration or that proof, okay, that, that the witnesses are observing, that the witnesses have, have personal evidence of. That the witnesses are seeing, all right, and it's happening right now. We're in, we're in, we're we're living, we're living in these prophecies. Okay, that's the blessing. And to know that we're living in these prophecies, even more of a blessing. Okay, so, you know, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying concerning, you know, concerning who the true witnesses are, you know, of the Lord. You know, and to you know back that up with scriptural evidence. All right, so Lord willing, this lesson was edifying and also encouraging to you sincere believers and you sincere listeners. All right, I will end all by giving all the glory, infinite praises unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Racha Kodash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Repent, Yahweh Shai is coming back. Repent, Yahweh Shai is coming back. All right, hey, Shalom, keep the faith, Shalom.